With fanfare and excitement, the students welcome Governor Ibrahim Gaydam to their school. Their school now wears a new look, a strategy the governor says is adopting to bring them back to school. The visit by Governor Gaydam and his entourage for an on-the-sport assessment of the work done is in fulfillment of his promise to make education more interesting and conducive for these students, especially those who have been demoralized by Boko Haram attacks. We are going to renovate the school completely, as you can see. I can assure you all necessary equipment to facilitate your studies will be put in place, inshallah. Laboratory equipment, laboratory materials, furniture to your, you know, dormitories and classrooms. All of them are going to be fixed, inshallah. Um, uh, inshallah, in addition to this, we are going to employ more qualified teachers to post to all the various secondary schools in your state, including your own. Their parents say they are happy not just seeing their children return to school, but for also having the opportunity to learn in a better environment. This will immensely have a very great impact on the education sector because teachers will be happy to teach and students will be happy to stay in the school and work. This will also reduce the cases of truancy of students, both girls and boys, out of the school. With these structures in place and many others still ongoing, one thing is certain. Some of these students may have reasons to go back to school even as the wounds from the terror attacks heal.